welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing my updated everyday makeup tutorial because I did this like a year ago on my channel but obviously my makeup has changed since then I've for sure gotten better at makeup and now I use like different products so I'm just going to be showing you what my everyday makeup tutorial is. I literally just got out of the shower and started to do my makeup so I was like I might as well just film it. So if you would like to see how I do this look, then keep on watching. First, I'm going to be taking this Real Technique sponge, which I actually kind of like better than the Beauty Blender just because it's cheaper. And I got it from like Target and it's really nice sponge. So I just like the sponge. And I just wetted it before I came into my bedroom. And I'm going to be taking the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, Your Skin But Better. And what I love about this, oh, I'm in the color medium. And what I love about this is it has SPF 50, which is really, really nice because my skin can burn really, really fast. So I like to use this. And I use, I've been using it for like a long time now. But this stuff is like amazing. Ah, oh my gosh. My powder literally just fell out of my thing. <laughs> and what I love about this is that it's not too heavy. And it covers up everything because I don't really have any like pimples right now. But I kind of have like just like scars from the pimples I had before. Because I'm bad and I do what you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to pop them. But I always do, which is bad, but whatever. Hi, Jet. Hi, are you brushing your teeth? You want to say hi? Oh, <laughs> Sam, brushing my teeth. Brush, 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 brush my teeth. Mwah. Ew, you smell so bad. Mom! Jen needs a diaper change. All right, so next I'm going to be taking my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and I'm in the color Canal, Canel, Canelli, something like that. Anyways, I love this stuff. It's just like, this is a great concealer. I, I used it for a while. Sorry if you hear airplanes. I live by an airport. So I really love this concealer. I've been using it for forever. Freaking airplane. Can you not? Please go away. But basically, I just put like, I guess like little triangles-ish underneath my eyes just to cover up the redness. And then I do it on my eyelid and I kind of use this as primer because I'm lazy and cheap and don't want to buy a primer. There's really no point in putting it on the tip of my nose, but I put it on the tip of my nose. And then I'm just going to put it over any blemishes, areas that I want to cover up. And a little bit in that area too. And then I'm just going to blend that in. with this Too Faced Primed Poreless Pressed Powder and as you can tell I like it a lot but I am just going to be using this to set my whole face. Now that kind of like my base face makeup is done I'm going to move on to my eyebrows and I'm pretty basic and I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I'm in the color medium brown, but I literally switch off on my color for my eyebrows like every single time. Every single time I walk into Sephora, I'm like, I'll get light brown, then I get medium brown, then I get dark brown. And it really just like depends on which Sephora helper helps me that day. And depends on what the color of my brows are going to be for like the next two months. <laughs> what I like to do with my brows is I like to just do some strokes in the center because I'm a little bit more sparse in the center of my brow. So I just do some strokes in the center of my brow and then I just kind of follow it out. Get that arch in. And then I really just kind of take it out for my tail because the tail of my brow like kind of stops short and it's supposed to like go to the end of your eye, like right here, it's supposed to like lead out to like there-ish, there-ish I'd say. Yeah, like there, so I'm just gonna like lead it there so my tail is nice and 
long and pretty. And I'm just going to keep filling them in. Then I'm just going to do my other brow. Now I'm just going to take my eyebrow brush and I'm going to brush all my eyebrow hairs up. And then I'm going to take it and I'm just going to brush them all over the top, I guess. I'm going to like take the top because you know how all the hairs are up now. I'm just going to tape them, take them and swipe them to the side. And then I'm just going to do the other side. What's doing? Are you trying to be like your sister? Huh? Moving on to my eyes. I do the most basic eyes you could ever do. I don't even use like eyeshadow. I use the Becca, what is it, the Champagne Splits. And I use the Champagne Pop side and this blush. What's this blush called? I, I, it doesn't say what the blush is called, but I use this for my lid and then I use this for my crease. And then I literally just take my finger, so I just take my finger and dip it into this and just put this over my eyelid. My thing is like I like sparkly colors on my eyelid and then a nice matte color in my crease when I'm doing my everyday look, if I'm just doing like a simple, simple, simple look or if I'm doing like a full glam look, that's just how I like my eyes. I'm also going to take a little bit of that same color on my finger and I'm just going to put it into the inner corners so that my eyes really, really pop. Now I'm going to be taking the blush side of it and I'm just going to be taking this brush from Morphe. It's kind of like a flatter end but still fluffy brush and I'm going to be putting that into my crease. I've been really, really into this peachy look. I've been doing it since like the beginning of summer and I just really like my eyes like this so that's my new go-to look I guess. Now I'm going to be putting on my mascara and I'm going to be using the Total Tease CoverGirl Mascara and guys I'm literally obsessed with this mascara. It makes my eyelashes look so freaking long. The only thing I wouldn't like about this mascara is it has, I don't know if you can tell, but it has this like little bump at the end of like little spiky things and it like gets in the way of your mascara but other than that like the formula is great. Now that I'm finished with my eyes and my eyebrows and everything, for my last two steps I am going to be doing my like contour and blush and all that. So I'm going to be taking the Tartist palette, which if you know me, literally I think my last makeup tutorial, I used this. So I just love this so much. It just, this color right here is like the perfect color for my skin tone and it just works really, really great. This blush right here, it's called, I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I don't know what it's called. But I'm just going to be taking that blush and then putting that on my cheeks. Not least, the very, very most important, best part of your entire makeup look, the highlight. And I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, highlighter. And this is like the, it has like the double sides and... I'm going to be using the sparkler side, and it's called, what's it called? It is called Fire Crystal. I'm going to be using this Sigma brush, and what's oh, the FO6 brush, and I'm just going to be dusting that on my cheeks. Literally, guys, are you kidding me? Like, are you literally kidding me? This glow is insane. Literally, like, I'm in love. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. Cupid's bow. And yeah, so there's my highlighter. The last step of my makeup is lips. And I don't really like like a matte lip or anything. So I like just like a nice sheen. And I'm going to be using this color. And it's actually not from like a brand or anything because I made it at this like beauty place when I was in New York. So I guess it's like my lip color. It's like a mauve color. It's basically like my lip color but just a little bit more vibrant.
that is my everyday makeup tutorial. So like I said, it's very, very simple. It is nothing difficult. And I'm not a beauty guru or anything, but this is just how I like to do my makeup every single day. And you guys have been asking for it, so I thought that I would do it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and make sure to stay tuned for my videos. I'm going to be posting every Friday, so make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on all my social media, which I'll have down below in the description. But I love you all so much. Mwah!